All right, let's move on to a game I find very difficult. Colts, Buccaneers. This total opened up at 49 and a half. It's now down to 47 and a half. The Bucs have been bad at home all year. One and four at home. Let's see what we're dealing with here. The Bucks open up at minus three and a half at plus 100. They're now minus three at plus 104. Five times has minus three at plus 105. Huh. The Colts are still in this. This is a must win for them. Tampa Bay is a much easier place to play in this time of year. I find this game tricky. I find Colts games tricky. Donnie right side, take it away. Colts, Bucks. I love the, I love the Colts. I mean, not in this football game. I'm just saying as an organization, I love what they're doing. I think they're going to have a really bright future. They have a ton of cap space, but you can only survive so much. You can't have no T.Y. Hilton, no Eric Ebron. Chester Rogers goes down again. Not much in the running back position and have a quarterback that doesn't really sling it all around. Now head on the road. And, oh, yeah, let's not forget – this team continues to run Adam Vinatieri, who single-handedly lost that football game for him on Sunday, and he's still going to be your kicker for you this weekend on the road. It's Tampa Bay Bucks or nothing for me, and not because I don't like Tampa Bay, excuse me, the Indianapolis Colts and what they do, Jimmy. There's zero. They have zero that you can pat yourself on the back on outside of a good offensive line to actually move the football. And I like the way that the Indianapolis Colts have played defense this year, but they're going to be stretched on defense going up against Jamie Swinston and this Bruce Arians offense. There's not enough, you know, bullets in the clip here for the Colts for me. It's going to be this weekend, Tampa Bay or nobody for here, me, Jimmy. Interesting. Tampa Bay or nobody. Let's hear what Whale Cat has to say about this spot, Colts Bucks. I agree 100% with uh, Donnie. This is a nightmare spot for the Colts. The one thing the Colts are doing well right now is dictating the line of scrimmage and running the ball down your throat. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense, that's the only thing they can stop. Uh, your weapons in your passing game are entirely deficient right now as at the Indianapolis Colts, and your secondary is very vulnerable, and you're going up against one of the most high-powered passing attacks in the NFL. This is awful, awful spot for the Colts, especially right after you've been, you know, you've had your playoff uh, playoff dream, you know, your playoff bubble just got popped. Uh, that's this is uh, this is a, a better organization, a better team, a better coach. But the way that they uh, are currently rostered with their injuries, I don't like them at all in this spot. And I, you know, to piggyback on Donnie's point, not only did Vin Terry single-handedly lose you that game last week, he lost you the Steelers game, and he also lost you the Dolphins game. Because if he makes that extra point, then you're going for a game tying field goal instead of trying to get a touchdown there with Brian Hoyer at the end. Uh, and you know the, their entire, you know their entire 2019 season looks different if they have a kicker who's you know capable of making extra points and and makeable field goals. So um, you know that they, they uh, the organization needs to look at kind of how they have distributed their cap this season and the fact that they haven't you know invested in depth or you know tried to upgrade the kicker position because it's cost them a playoff spot this year. Oh, that Finkel against the Steelers was about as angry as I've been all year. Uh, it, it's still, like, I still feel that anger. Uh, Jeff Billing says, I like the Tampa, uh, I like Tampa Bay all the way. Kevin Taylor says, I'm in Indy. Not a lot of positives coming out of that locker room. Adam Olin says, Colt season is done. Too many losses to compensate for. Bucks, 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 says Adam Olin. 